Yo. Yeah. I work a long day, but it's worth it knowing when I get home I can relax and let the songs play First I check my account, see that I got paid Then pour myself a tall one and neck the lost straight I slip the cassette in the deck, my collection's eclectic as it gets, though everything's fresh What I select depends Hey, what's going on everybody? Matt here I've decided to talk to you guys real quickly about the Razer Nomo because I honestly think it deserves its own video. For how much it costs, which is 99 bucks, these sound really good. Now, what is so special about the Nomo, you say? That's a really freaking good question. And to my mind is basically about all the engineering that went into actually making them. Because they don't really look like there's much going on but they just have to have something on their sleeve for it, be, for it to be able to do what it actually does. Uh, so this is what that means. Bear with me. Now, they have two three inch full range drivers that are made out of a custom woven glass fiber material, which I know nothing about. One of, on each speaker, obviously. There are two base ports facing the rear, again, one on each speaker, a cable that connects one side to the other, and on the right side, you've got power, aux in plus the main input, and a headphone jack in case you want to route your headphones through the Nomo instead of reaching all the way back to your setup, you know, on the back of your case or something like that, if it is out of reach. And the extra input actually works and helps you if you want to connect something like a phone, for example, like this one. Now, the speakers themselves are made out of plastic, and I'm not one of those people that thinks that plastic equals low quality, because they actually do feel really premium. Plus, in this case, I think plastic is an interesting choice, because what they did with the engineering of the internals of the Nomo actually already gets this thing to be quite hefty, you know, that there's quite a bit of weight for its size. And since plastic is lighter than metal and wood most of the time, again, good choice. Oh, and don't worry if you think that they're gonna be easily knocked over because they're all top heavy and stuff, don't, because the big round feet with rubber padding underneath does a really good job at keeping them stable while not letting everything on your setup, you know, rattle if you crank it up a notch in the volume department. Now let's get into the absolute best part about the Nomo by far. The design is all about round shapes. There are two round knobs on the feet of the right side one. And one of them is for bass, the other is for volume and to, you know, turn the Nomos on and off. Now there's really nothing special about the volume one, but the bass one, let's just say that the Nomo has automatic gain control. It actually does have automatic gain control. And what that means is that you can crank up or down and fiddle with the bass all that you want on the fly, however you want, and you never need to worry that you need to EQ anything else because it's gonna scale everything according properly so that you can have all the volume that you want with your settings without any sort of distortion ever, which is really cool. And they're not the absolute loudest speakers you'll ever see, well, uh, here, but they really do get quite loud. And when I mean that they don't distort, they do not distort at all. Doesn't matter how much volume you try to push out of these things, it's always clean. Now, all that's great. I've already said that I find the Nomos to sound really good, but we are talking about Razer. So gaming company for gamers by gamers. Can you actually game with the Nomos? And the answer is, yeah, you absolutely can. The first time I actually tried to use them to game and listen to something, it was really weird because much like with headphones, all the separation, the sound stage, the imaging, it's so present with these things that it I felt weirded out because sound that was coming from my right didn't seem to be coming from the right speaker. It sounded like it was coming from my right. And there was a character right in front of me speaking directly at me and it sounded like you had a third one of these things right in the middle of my setup specifically dedicated to what that dude was saying. That's nuts to be able to do with only two speakers. We're not talking about a full surround sound system here. And I can go on and on about how awesome the Nomo sound and all that stuff, but I think it's probably gonna be better if I try to show you guys what I mean by recording some samples. And 
I know I can't record properly stereo right now, but I'm gonna do the best job I can. So here are some samples for you guys. I'm in the dungeon under torchlight, hunting for some more fights. Dungeon at these monsters with a hundred different sword yeah. fights. Sorry, chum, this one just isn't your night. I'm thunder when you're under garments, but they feel all tight. I collect the And when everything is upside down, when you're yelling but you make no sound, life is gonna spin you round. So, have you ever wondered how good would 99 bucks sound if it was in the shape of a stereo speaker? Well, if you have, or if you're wondering that right now, even if you're not into gaming, do not give Razer a pass on this one because they really did outdone themselves this time. Razer, you did an awesome job here. The normals sound incredible. Well done. And yeah, that's about it. A quick one for a change. So thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Uh, but before I leave, let's just... You're me on my mood, you pop folk, so blues It's all about the groove until I fall about the room In a drunken stupor, such a loser Spinning like a DJ on my computer The bottle's gone, I'm a trooper But now the coffee's shut and I don't fancy one at the booze And the brandy hit me like a right hook I like to write drugs